السلام عليكم سيدي كامل السنة وعليكم السلام How are you? Uh, fine, thanks for asking. Can you really follow my classes? Uh, yeah, well, yes, I can. Depositing the assignments, I believe many of you are not uh, depositing the assignments. So I think from my side is done. So I did all all the assignment. I submit all the assignments. Let's see. Mr. Farouk is here. Well, let us wait for the others to join, okay? So let, should we start the class or we should wait for the others? What is your opinion? What should I do? Well, we can start with just the basic and we can wait for five okay. minutes more if they are joining. So fine. Uh, in earlier classes, we have done the information gathering, right? Uh, yes. Could you recollect all those points or you just forget all those things in this period no fresh memory okay so uh, let me from, from my side okay i do understand let me share one experience with you uh is there anybody facing any sorts of difficulties please feel free to share your thoughts or how much better i can really teach you guys so i have taken some uh measures like now onwards, I will make short videos for you, okay? 
I'll make short videos for you. So what will happen that, uh, and all, obviously those will be in Bangla. Since many of you are from Bangla background, so I'll make some short videos in Bangla in my, the gist of my class. So what will happen uh, that uh, if you in time, sometimes you forget something, you can see that short videos because the lecture videos are actually very long it's for two and a half hours or three hours and more. So many of us don't have that much of time to see all those things at a short period. But that's that's why I'll just make a very short videos, no much explanation, just the work, how the comments have been performed, how I am just executing the various tasks. Will it be fair for you? Or you want me to make those videos in English? Whatever you want. No, bang no Bangla for me. Okay. So we we can compare, you know. Okay. So in English we are getting from you in the it, class. So Bangla is that means that we compare. Is it common for all? Madam Tasha, you joined uh, now. Uh, did you uh, say, understood what I tried, what I said just a few seconds ago? Madam Tasha, are you there? Yeah. Sorry, I just joined, so I couldn't. Okay. I didn't know what so, you said. Uh, so, uh, what I just said that uh, for your more easy assimilation to understand the subjects properly. So, what I am planning, I'll make. Now onwards, I'll make short videos, very short videos of 10 minutes maximum. Those videos will be mostly covering the execution part. No explanation, only execution. Like uh, I am doing vulnerability analysis. So I am how I am doing that in Kali Linux, just I'll show the comments and execution, nothing else. Okay? So that in your professional life, when you tend to forget your things, and uh, you face any difficulties, you can have a glance on those things so that you don't have any doubts on those aspects. Correct? And I'm planning to make those in Bangla. Okay? And those will be uploaded in my personal websites so that it never fades away and you are get benefited of it. And it will be in Bangla. So do you have any issues? Or you want me to make those videos in English? feel free no it's fine for me thank you hmm. what about others i got the opinion of mr mamun what about uh, mr mustaviz uh, yasin mr. yeah Ali? We're, we're fine with it yeah yeah it's okay. fine with bengali no problem okay so just no, no my intention is not to make it in bengali because Many of you, I, I felt that many of you are very much, uh, still you are confident and uh, easy with Bangla. So uh, if it is so, fine. Or if it is in English, doesn't matter. Uh, both are same for me. Okay. A uh, lot of talk. Just to recapitulate our knowledge. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what we are going to do, just to recap our knowledge. So, uh, please uh, answer only the person who, uh, who I ask, okay? So, Mr. Hafiz, tell me what is the class range of class uh, A ad address, class A address? What is the class range? Mr. Hafiz, are you there? I just enter, yeah. What is the class range of class A IP address? Class range. Like 1 to how much? 1 to 192. I mean, no, uh, 198. No. 1. 126. Class oh, A address. Sorry. Don't forget this thing. Very basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. I'm sorry. Now, Mr. Mamun, what is the class range of class B? 128 to 191. 128 to? 8 to 191. Excellent. Okay. Now, Mr. Khaled, what is the class range of class C? So 192 to 223. 
182 to 223. Okay. So I believe you all understand these points, right? Uh, is there any difficulties? There may be a question. Yes. It starts from 128. Why what? not 127? Any ideas? Yes. That, that, no, that was the question I was going to ask. Okay. So why it is not 127? Because two of the IDs, you see, we can go up to 100, uh, 127 and also the IP range of 224. These two are actually reserved. Why? Because these IP address are actually used for redirection. Like, have you seen local host? Local host. Like, I'm showing a video. Let's see. Local host. In the, uh, can you see my skin, right? Local host. So, what is this local host? Local host is actually an address that is used for internal use. Like uh, if I use uh, my own server, like it is not actually transmitted in uh, anywhere. See, I'm using Google. So there is internet connectivity. And actually I am connected to the entire world. Fine. But what happens if I have my own server, but it is not actually propagated to anywhere. Okay. Then I need an address. I need a redirection address. And that redirection address is actually 127. The address is just like this. One. 127.0.0.0. This is the redirection address. So it will come back to my own computer. My own computer actually uses this redirection address. Okay. This address is actually used for our own redirection. So why I'm uh, using this uh, sort of thing uh, within a very short period, uh, we'll be observing it practically. For example, I'll be developing viruses through Kali Linux. So to, to uh, transmit those data from Kali Linux to my location, from Kali Linux to my location, what I'll do, like I'll be, like, this is my Kali Linux and this is my own PC, own PC, okay? So to get the virus from Kali Linux to my own server, I'll use the redirection address on this are some local servers. We'll be using it very frequently. So. For that reason, I need some system. I need some local servers. So basically this uh, 127.0.0.0, these are actually the local servers. Okay. So just for your knowing sake, know this thing, this 127 and 224, actually these are reserved for your local purpose. Okay. Is it point? Is this point understood, Mr. Palit? Did you understand what I try to mean? Yes. So these are actually reserved. Okay, these are nothing but actually these are reserved address that uh, we are using it for our own purpose. Okay. Now, uh, just to recal recapitulate our own memories, so that let's see. So. We have taught you so far so many uh, things, right? Uh, the information gathering, information gathering, so in this information gathering, what we did, we actually used various tools, like we used what wave, uh, we used uh, ping probe, okay? What for a ping probe and what what are the tools we used for information gathering? 
who is ping. and my we use ping yes. ping command find the ip address also we use what web what web what web to get the detailed information of the subject right what else tools we use please review your classes so that actually you can recollect because each and everything are very important okay Nate Is discover. Nate discover. yeah madam madam Nate Nate discover net discover right madam that's right net discover so net stat yeah net stat uh, dash nr for to know our actually own uh, own system net discovery net start is actually knowing discovering our own network but uh, information gathering tool you generally use what web and to some extent ping okay and after the information gathering we have done scanning in the scanning portion we have used number of tools uh, in like nmap scripts what are the things in map tools and in map scripts basically i taught you only these two there are thousands of scanning tools like in the marketplace you see acunetics there is a tool these are actually paid tools acunetics also nessus this is a master tool many of the uh, tech giants actually use these nessus tools Okay, so how to use these Nessus tools? Intentionally, I have not taught you because I'll be teaching you very soon. Uh, why I have not taught you so far? Because if you just learn this thing, you will not do any sorts of job because this is a very ready-made things. It will actually help you find out all the vulnerabilities in a minute. Okay, this is also very time consuming. Please remind me. At the end of my class, I'll today teach you how to use these tools and how to install it in the Kali Linux. Okay. Actually, uh, uh, in the in our professional life, uh, when we you go, or we go to SOC or uh, any uh, presentation testing, we actually use this source of professional uh, third-party software in a large scale because these are highly paid. You need to pay a very long, uh, huge amount of money at least. For the enterprise solution, four thousand dollar. Enterprise solution, four thousand dollar just for a year, and for the corporate solution, it is more than ten thousand. Okay, so actually, large corporations, mid corporation also uses this thing. Doesn't matter. It is a very necessary tool, and it's actually the thing we are actually doing. All are manually, but this Nessus will be doing everything just in automatically in a nutshell within a very short time and it will actually ease your job so i'll discuss much more things about that nessus tool uh, in the end of my class why i am not discussing it much before because uh, listen when you will be actually uh, competing for your jobs these tools will not be asked you'll be asked yes can you use the third party softwares and tools yes I can. Okay. The question is finished. But they will ask you some more technical questions. Like I have asked you in the morning. Like what is the. This is the range. What is the range. Why it is not like this and that. Plot. So that is the issue. To compete with your interview session. You need to. You need to know the basics. Okay. And it is actually also helpful. Because sometimes. This nurses tools also fail to. Discover some vulnerabilities. But the Kali Linux, the NMAP system, it always enhances its updates. So you can get much more details about it. So today, uh, in the previous class, we have done scanning. So do you have any question about the scanning? Any difficulties to perform the knowledge of scanning? Any difficulties? Many of you have not. Uh, deposited with the assignments that is very alarming also i have marked it okay so please if you are not understanding the things mr monjur is here 
Okay. Then uh, uh, Mr. Umar Farooq. Okay, Mr. Farooq Khan, right? The same person? Yes, why? So, uh, are you facing any difficulties? Uh, any yes, I actually... Uh, I Yesterday I did, but I submitted, but I did not uh, do it a proper way. That's why they don't, did not accept it. So, I'll try again today. Oh. The, the, the uh, yeah. SMS actually, I'm telling you that see, it's nothing, just the classes you have just followed, just do it in your own time, make a screenshot of your class, whatever you, the commands you have just, it's actually helpful because when this class was, will be over, this class notes remains. Okay, this class notes remains forever. So please actually follow uh, the instructions, it will actually help you in your login term. So, but I I I did, but I don't know how to do it properly. Uh, but that's why they don't accept it. Uh, my okay. so uh, that's why I told you that uh, in, uh, today onwards, what I'll do, I'll make short videos, very short videos of ten to twenty, uh, ten to twelve minutes highest in Bangla, so that you don't face any issues. Only the execution part, no explanation, nothing. Okay, just execution, so that. In oh. your real life, when you uh, go, go, get inside the job, you just see the short videos so that you can recollect your memories. Okay, so enough talk. So I understand uh, you have we have done the scanning part. Now we have started the vulnerability scanning for a uh, moment, and we have seen some default issues like uh, how to exploit some uh, uh what 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 i say that exploit some uh, uh information uh, uh misconfiguration we call it misconfiguration misconfiguration so far i hacked a system in the tomcat uh, can you re uh, re uh, remember the issues tomcat hacking yesterday uh, the last class Yes. So these are actually, uh, no, uh, I, I, please observe the class. So you'll find the Tomcat that uh, in the uh, vulnerability analysis, we found there is a Tomcat server and we hacked it. Is it not correct? Hello. Are you with me? Yes. Yes, we did it. Yes. So did you, uh, didn't we uh, hack? Tomcat server. Yes. The, yes. So that that is a, that is actually uh, is called uh, misconfiguration. These sorts of issues very rarely happens. Okay. Remember those things. Actually, those sorts of issues in your real life you'll not face. Okay. You'll not actually really face the, those sorts of issues. Those are very rarely found. But uh, what? Uh, that one was uh, related with the default accounts, right? Yes, default account, misconfiguration, these are actually the same source of issues. This default uh, uh, account actually doesn't uh, take place in the professional fields. So there is no scope of it. And misconfiguration is actually the same source of thing. You open this site and you forgot to give the password of it. Okay. So afterwards, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, did a uh, number of uh, analysis like Sync scan, uh, the sorry, the auth scan, malware scan, vulnerability scan. Anybody faced any issues regarding those? Any issues regarding those? Sync scan, auth scan, all those things. Okay, so I consider that. Uh, you are actually conversant with the uh, scanning. Uh, you didn't face any problem. Fine. Now, today I will be teaching you Metasploit framework. Okay. This is a... Write it. Metasploit framework. work. 
this is the master tool of every hacker. If you call yourself a presentation tester, you must be very thorough about this system, Metasploit framework. So today we will actually see in details. I will take a long time for this class of Metasploit framework because if you understand this thing, if you understand this thing, you can actually do everything by yourself. And it is a self-explanatory, is a complete module. It's a complete module. It will solve all your hacking, presentation testing, all sorts of job. Okay. So if you face any issues, then and then stop me. So I'm going to my Kali Linux module. Remember, there are also a very uh, large number of uh, made ready tools, but I always prefer Kali Linux because this is free and it's very strong and it always updates itself. Okay. So, in the console, what I type MSF console or uh, for uh, no, to the, uh, the meta spread first, the CD, change directory space forward slash user slash share in earlier we did here what, what we type nmap right do you remember nmap scripts yes okay so let's see what is there ls so in earlier we did the nmap NFS now P is very difficult for me. Find that um, a, yes, this nmap is script. But today we'll not use nmap. We'll use Metasploit framework. Metasploit framework. See, this is the thing we'll be using. So, just we are writing the things once again. Meta ploit dash frame work. So, instead of nmap, now we are teaching you meta spread framework. Remember this thing. So, nmap script. What you did, Madam Alima, for nmap script? Why why we use nmap script? Earlier nmap script, why we used it, Madam Alima? Madam Alima, are you listening to me? Hello. Yeah. Um. Uh, who um. Hack firewall or bypass firewall? No, no, no. We use it for scanning. Okay. We use it for scanning just to scan the system. Uh, actually, uh, okay. Uh, I'll uh, recap those things once again for you. So, just what he did, just let me go back to uh, the um, desktop directory first, like cd slash home slash hacker is my user ID. Hacker slash desktop. So now I'm the desktop directory. So what you will do if you want to go for exploitation. Today, I'm actually the hacking part. That starts today. Today we'll hack almost 10 to 20 targets so that uh, by doing that, in reality, you'll gain the experience. Okay. Now, what I said, we first type CD. Okay, let me clear this screen first. Here. Okay, CD. Forward slash user. Slash share. Slash meta. Exploit. Framework. So now we are in the meta exploit framework. So I told you this is actually a master tool. It contains a lot of things. Okay. What are the things? Let's see. LS. See what is the thing inside Metasploit framework. 
See, there are a lot of issues, but we will not actually concentrate on all those things. Our primary focus will be on these modules. Modules. So what is there inside these modules? Let's go. CD or M you just type modules. M-U-D-U-L-E-S. Modules. Okay, so we are in the modules directory. We are typing LS. See, we have total seven modules in Metasploit framework. Auxiliary, encoders, evasion, exploits, knobs, payloads, and post. These seven modules. If you can understand these seven modules, if you have a very clear concept what is actually going on on these modules, okay, you can actually be master hacker. And it is so enormous. It is so enormous. You can really imagine is, uh, what should I say? How much big, uh, enormous it is. It is very next to uh, difficult for you. Okay. So for even us, us also. It's a, such an enormous modules, each and everything. So today what we'll do, we'll explore each and every modules of it. And remember one thing, hacking is not copying a techniques. I just uh, did some hacking techniques by my own style. You copy it and you, you perform it. No, it's not going to happen. In the real world, you have to use your own methodology, use your own tools, use your own system to scan the system and attack the system. So it is very necessary for us to know each of these modules by heart. What is their function? What are the facilities that provide? So just to decalate your memories, like I told you in earlier cases, like you have gone to a super shop, right? A super shop. In the super shop, you'll find there are a lot of corners. Some corners actually keeps food. Some beverage. Some vegetables. Some just frozen items. Okay, now, Mr. Palit is a vegan. So, Mr. Palit, you'll uh, move to which direction, which segment? Just consider yourself as a vegan. Uh, Do you understand vegan? To the, yeah. So, to the so, veg corner? Uh, so, uh, you'll, uh, you'll go to veg corner. So, Mr. Palit yeah. is a ve vegan. He will go to the vegetable corner. Madam uh, Tasha, uh, he, uh, her daughter loves uh, ice cream. So, Madam, you will go to which corner? Frozen. Yeah, frozen? Frozen. Yeah. So, Madam Tasha's daughter, she loves ice cream. So, she'll go to the frozen corner. Okay. Uh, Mr. Khalid, uh, you want to have, uh, you are very hungry and you want to buy some rice or some cooked food. So, which corner you will actually observe? Food. Food. So, Mr. Khalid will go to food. Uh, okay, let me tell one fact about uh, Mr. Mustafiz. Since uh, Mr. Mustafa is actually a CSC graduate, so intentionally I am not calling him. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, is it okay for you? Are you feel offended? No, 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 it's cool. So I consider that you understand everything. So if you have any issues, you will knock me. That's why I'm not calling you. So I understand that you understand these basic things. That's why I'm not intentionally I'm not calling you. Okay? Only you. Since okay. you are only CSC graduate here. Okay? So please do, don't feel offended. Now, so you understand that everybody has their different source of requirement. Mr. Palit, he is a vegan. So since he is a vegan, so he wants vegetables. So he will not go to the beef or any other uh, protein corner. 
so he'll go for the veg vegan corner but Natasha's children loves to have ice cream so he she wants to purchase the ice cream so she'll go to a frozen corner same goes with Mr. Khalil he's hungry he needs food he cannot really avail these frozen or all things he'll directly go for the foods so everybody has their own requirements similarly if we just match or tie up this uh, example with our real life scenario in the IT sector. So we have Linux, we have Windows, we have Mac. So each and every system has a different kind of architecture, system mechanism. That's why Linux to hack Linux system, we need Linux modules, okay? For Windows, we need Windows module, okay? For Mac, we need Mac module. This part understood, any confusion so far? Question, please listen. My approach is actually to teach you the basic to teach you how we can do it by yourself, not to copy my style. So if you don't understand, please come, come out. Tell me that, sir, I actually didn't understand this thing. Any confusion on this? Mr. Mamun, did you understand what I tried to mean so far? Yes. Okay, thank you. So the similar thing is actually happening with our, this Metasploit framework. Consider this auxiliary module as your uh, the food corner, encoders, like your vegetable corner, evasion, like your frozen corner, the ice cream corner, like this. These are actually various shops. Auxiliary encoders, evasion, exploits, knobs. These all are various types of shops. So what these sh shops actually do, we'll see one by one today. Okay, we'll see one by one today. And I'll not explain much here now. Just I'll go to each and every module. I'll go each and every module and I'll explain and show it to you how vast each of this. Okay. So now I'll be going to the first, the exploit module. The exploit module is one of the, uh, what should I say, uh, the most used module in uh, the uh, painting testing industry. The main job, I, I told you earlier that one of our uh, terminology in cybersecurity is that after scanning, we exploit the target. So these issues of exploitation comes here. Okay. So exploitation, what it does, it actually nothing. It finds the loose aspect of your security system. I believe I uh, taught you what is exploitation, what is vulnerability, and what is payload. Could you remember? Like uh, there is a door. There is a door. So exploitation actually, the person who is actually exploit it, they actually see is there, the lock is actually very weak or not. Their door is very loosely fitted or not. The lock door is locked or not very. They, find the vulnerabilities of this system, okay? So the similar thing actually the ex exploitation modules does, okay? So let me see what are the modules there in exploit directory. So to get inside any directory, we'll type cd and that module name, exploits, exp, I'm typing tabs, so it automatically does the rest of the things for me. So pressing enter and to see what is inside the exploit, type ls. See, in the exploit module, there are also some sub modules. So there is something called AIX, Android. So with this module, you can really uh, actually check the uh, Android modules. To hack the Android modules, you need Androids for Apple job. It, you have to use the Apple, okay? For Firefox system, FreeBSD, for Linux module, you see, 
there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things. Trust me, in my 15 years of careers, I have not utilized all. And sometimes I even don't know all. It is not possible. Because this Metasploit framework is actually a vast thing. For example, I worked for, uh, for some uh, US company. Those are mostly related to this mainframe. And I worked with some Solaris and Windows mostly. But these other modules, Android, other things, I, I had no options to work with. So I'll be not going to these all those things like this. But when in your operational environment, when you find that your operational environment actually ask you to hack Apple system or like this, to see the, these Firefox browsers vulnerabilities, you'll be using those modules. Okay. So in your laser time, and it must, it is actually not uh, for cybersecurity professionals, there is no laser time called. It's our professionalism. You see each and every modules of it. See what is there. Have a note, have some important note in your notebooks, have the habit of noting down things. So that in your time of necessary, you can really know that actually I need to go this directory to actually go for the hacking of that system. Okay. So now I'll be observing what is inside this Windows module. So to get inside this Windows module, what I'll be doing, Mr. Khalid, I want to check what is inside the Windows directory. What I'll be doing? So I will try Bellas. Uh, no, no, not LS. So for LS, actually it will give you the same results. But now I want to go inside this Windows directory. I'm already here. So, so what CD, I'll do then like? Windows. Yes. CD. Can you see the skin? Or I'm uh, okay. CD space Windows. Windows. Okay. So press enter. So now we are in the Windows directory. Okay. Now what I'll try, Madam Tasha, to see what is inside. LS. Exactly. LS. LS. See, inside that Windows module, so many things. You see, you can actually deal with the antivirus system. It is actually faking the antivirus system. You can bypass the firewall. You can actually hack the FTP server, the games server, email. So you see, you can also play with the license modules. Lot of things. Lot of. You can actually deal with the Lotus system. Okay. And this system is actually every year, every after one to two, two months, these are updating. When I uh, start learning the presentation testing, it was only four to five years. Now it is densely populated like this. So SMTP is actually simple mail transfer protocol, SMB, server message block. So there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things. Okay. For this course, mostly I'll be focusing on actually all these parts because most of the time uh, we actually focused on Windows exploits and Linux exploits. And you see there are each of these modules are based with more numbers of things. Even uh, in the Windows module, there are, you see, there is also HTTP. That means the website. So just see, uh, to get inside the web, uh, HTTP directory. What I'll do, Madam Alima? To get inside the HTTP directory, what I'll do? CD HTTP. Excellent, Madam. CD HTTP. So, we are inside the CD HTTP. Now I am typing LS. See? In that HTTP directory, so many things. So many things, okay? So many exploits. These all are actually exploit. And you observe this thing, Adobe Rebo Helper, dot .rb. Dot .rb is actually means Ruby. These programs are actually developed in Ruby format, okay? Ruby is a programming language. 
and most of the hackers or the the uh, malware analyst they develop various of uh, programs in ruby okay and also c language you see lot of things you see lot of exploits are there so so far any difficulties understanding this thing no so now just for your example that here i have go to the lot of uh, there are lot of hacks so now webstar http okay i observe this system i copy it just i want to explore what is inside this webstar http so to open a file in linux system what will be done mr mamun open a linux file what i will be doing i want to open this this file i forget sorry okay. no problem no no issue you you will forget we will forget i also forget okay so type nano and the file name we have chosen okay so i'm copying it and pasting it here or else you can also type it also doesn't matter and press enter nano and this file name see now i am observing this file what is actually inside okay so you see it is telling this uh, this it is actually this is the virus file and it is uh, telling me what is there so this module requires see the first line this module requires metasploit okay it only actually works with metasploit framework and msf console actually uh, what is that after, after a very short period after this metasploit framework i'll show what is the msf console and what sorts of actually service it does see the description this exploits a stack buffer flow in the western http server the server and source code was released within the article from the microsoft system journal in february 1986 titled write a simple http based server using mfc and windows sockets so like this you read the description and find it is of which category what kind of virus this is and what sorts of targets i can neutralize this is very important okay this is just a random example so see how much viruses are there so just to recapitulate our memory see we started from here we started from here that exploits from that exploits we go to the sub modules that from that sub modules we choose windows now we see the sub modules of windows from here we choose http now from there we also this get this sub 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 module okay just to make your understanding more clear so first we got exploits after bigger after that exploit module we go windows windows okay after that windows we have number of modules we choose the http modules okay after that http modules we found a web setter and virus dot ruby a virus like this so have you seen one two three four five and and this five steps to lot of journey lot of issues so actually in our professional time when uh, like i work in a shop i actually work, i have to work almost 12 hours per day i have nothing to do i have to do this uh, overtime many at times because if there is any any emergency as a ciso i have to come to my office i i can i can really de uh, deny my job okay sometimes i have to work long at period so when it happens that i have to be in the site or somewhere i actually do this research you have to read okay so 
where you go just to recapitulate once more that from the metasploit framework we go to the modules but we have not touched other tools also okay so for modules we choose the exploit we see what is inside the exploit we choose one of the modules like you also choose the unix or solaris module you'll also find similar sorts of branches of the tree okay so it's huge right so did you understand any confusions so far any confusions okay mr mamun did you understand what i tried to mean yes um i understand so the thing is so this is this is the module that we can find the exploits till till here and then what we can do with these exploits sorry like, uh, come again so sup suppose we, we get the webstate.rb right so you check the inside the webstate.rb um, that what they have inside the webstate.rb so what exactly we find inside the webstate.rb anything particular we're going to look for inside the files or any particular things we are looking into it no 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 actually uh, uh, right now we are not looking for any particular things just to show you how to check what are the things okay. inside like okay. uh, uh, what should i say for example let me draw you one things like in your money bags like this is your money bag consider this is your money bag okay so in your money bag there is somewhere some people cards the uh, their credit cards some people have some cash okay some have uh, something wife or uh, a picture of their girlfriend or their wife or children a lot of things so in your money bag what is there you need to understand this thing so this actually this meta exploit framework is actually in our custody so you need to know you have what are the assets you have like uh, some of the uh, corporations i worked with they have zuniper router is one of the very advanced router uh, advanced uh, the secret system zuniper have you heard of this zuniper firewall something zuniper no. firewall okay no. so no. it's a very famous like cisco like cisco like cisco this zuniper is one, one one of the very renowned firewall system so they have this zuniper firewall system but the uh, security experts have a very shallow knowledge of this issues for example uh, you drive car do you drive car do you have a car mr uh, mamun yes i do. Uh, yes i have a car so do you know all of its functionalities what what you can actually do with your car what is the uh, key configuration of all these things do you yeah most of them but not most all most of them right most of them so as a driver as a driver you need to know what is that this is the accelerator key so with that accelerator key i'll 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 just uh drive faster with accelerator okay and for this brake i'll brake the car for this steering i'll just turn my vehicles like this so you need to know the functions of your car the similar thing is actually happening with this meta exploit framework you need to know each and every functionalities it is good to know not every time you will be knowing all these things because it takes a lot of time but if you spend times if you see the jira collector okay so this jira collector say you know jira jira is actually a software that actually helps to test the software vulnerability so you can actually test jira issues also okay so you ch check each and every in your in your laser time and see what is there and have a note that you have in your money bag you have this coin you have this and that okay like this so now we have only discussed about the exploit modules we have more six modules so i want to go back to the modules directory so to go back what is the command for linux it is cd space double dot and it will go on step back so from here it is we are in http directory it will go to windows directory from windows 
we'll go to exploit and then we'll go back to modules. Okay. Let's see. I'm typing CD and enter. So you see, it was in the HTTP. Now it is in the Windows okay. directory. So to go back to the exploit directory, what I need to type, Mr. Um, uh, Mamun, or Mr. Farooq, Mr. Farooq. Yes, uh, CD and double dot. Yes. So to go do that, I'm CD space double dot. See, now I'm the exploit folder. Okay, Madam Tasha, I want to go to the modules directory. So what, what I'll do? CD dot dot. Yes, CD space dot dot. Enter. So now again, I'm in the module directory. So I'm typing ls. I'll see again those seven issues are there. Okay. So some of the Linux command I actually intentionally didn't taught you because I want to taught you those things in the practical purpose. So you understand better. Right. So now what I'll be observing, I will be observing the auxiliary modules. What is this auxiliary modules? So any idea, Mr. Mustafiz? Any idea about these auxiliary modules? What is this auxiliary modules? What do they do? No. Yeah? No. Okay. So, did you uh, observe in the previous classes that in the auxiliary modules, we have actually uh, done some scanning? Most probably you missed that part. So, the auxiliary modules actually, what it does, it breaks the system. Okay? It breaks the system in number of small parts so that and you can find the vulnerabilities. Okay. And in reality also, uh, if you are with me in the uh, next session that is for uh, testing the uh, web server's uh, vulnerabilities. So you will be observing that uh, we check very small part of the things. We check very small things part by part. Okay part by part and we see what is inside what is the problem like uh, so any one of us uh, have a doctor friend or any relatives doctors so consider this is a human so he has a defects in his right arm okay so for some instance you don't know anything that i have a defect in my right arm or i have a cancer in my right arm so does the doctor can find it uh, in a glance no they actually run some blood test okay so they also check uh, the, uh, there are a number of tests involved in these issues. And finally, from this uh, test, they found that there is a tumor or cancer in your blood. Thereby, you are facing problem in your arms. There's the real issues. So what do we do? We check part by part. We check the legs. We check the hands. We check the bloods of that humans like this. We check each and every part and thereby you come to a conclusion that gentlemen, you have a cancer and it needs to be operated soon. Okay. So the auxiliary modules actually, it breaks the system in number of small parts so that the diagnosis part is actually easier. Okay. It or more easier examples like we told you in the earlier class like uh, consider that you are having a burger can you just have this big burger all by at your all by at once in your mouth is it possible to have the entire burger in at a on go is it possible mr farooq no yes no. so we can eat Likewise. the bit by bit, bite by bite. Small bit of it, okay? Small portion of it, and then I eat the burger. 
So auxiliary modules actually helps us to break the system and check part by part. Okay, I part, I check this part. Okay, this part, okay. This part is not okay. This part is okay. This part is okay. So the problem is with this sector. So let me see what is inside this auxiliary modules. So to check the auxiliary modules, what I need to do, Madam Alima, what I need to do, to, I want to go inside the auxiliary modules. What I need to do? Uh, CD auxiliary. Exactly. But also, for your knowledge sec, you can, if you just type auxiliary, it will also do the job. Just, just to know. Oh, no, 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 no. I, Is it going to work with the, the other things we did? No, not always, not always. Since I am in the, this directory, since I am in this directory, that's why it will work. I am inside this directory, that's why running the next any command will actually work. But if, for example, it is in the subdirectory of some other else, no, it will not work. So it is a better practice. You type CD with it. Because ma maximum time we actually use the CD, the change directory, so that you have a uh, better uh, hands on your uh, the issues like uh, in earlier classes you told me that uh, sir I want to go to desktop can you just write desktop no it will not work you have to type cd slash ho slash the, uh, your username maybe alima or hacker whatever then slash desktop that is the complete location of your directory so Similarly, to check everything, you need to have the directory locations. So now I am in the auxiliary directory. To check what is inside this auxiliary directory, what I'll be doing, madam? What is inside LS. this auxiliary directory? LS, yes. So you see, in this auxiliary module, there are also lot of sub modules like admin it will allow us for the admin privilege analyze the system okay so it will look for the crawlers okay these terms you will actually be more conversant when i'll teach you how to make by viruses the cloud security issues these are also covered here fuzzers okay fuzzers actually uh, the like uh, we there is a term called fuzzing. Have you heard what is called fuzzing, Mr. Mustafiz? Any idea about fuzzing? I mean, yeah. So in English fuzzing means you have some dizziness or something, but not with the technical term. Okay, fuzzing is actually a system just to test the system. Like, uh, what what should I say? Uh, uh, Madam Alima, do you cook? Yeah. Okay. So, so when uh, while you cook, so what do you do? Uh, uh, um, you first, you have to prepare the ingredients, then you cook it. One second. Hello. Can you listen to me? Hello. Yes. Yes. So, what I'm saying, Madam, while cooking. What you do, we just uh, put some salt here and test. Okay, the salt is okay or not. So if it's not sufficient, we put more salt, right? So every time you do something and test with a little bit of issues. So fuzzing is actually that thing. We check, okay? For your easier assimilation, fuzzing is just like just putting some bit of testing modules some input and see very very little is, amount of it, is it an exploit uh, is this all are part of exploit these all are part of exploit okay. auxiliary encoders evasion exploit knobs payloads post these all are exploit these all are exploit merely saying the word exploit that means it's not the only exploit these all are exploit these all are exploit. Okay. These are the name of this sub module. Okay. 
but this all I export. This all helps us to hack the system. Okay. Scanner. You understand by, by default the word of this scanner. Okay. Now you have server, you have spoofing. Do you understand spoofing, Mr. Mustafiz? I believe you so. So what is spoofing? Spoofing is that, for example, uh, how can I say? Like uh, in the house, suddenly uh, a police come inside this house and say, where is Mr. K? Where is Mr. K? So you, you must have watched the movies of Bangladesh uh, during the uh, our post-liberation war. So the uh, Pakistani military is to come inside and say, where is that this and that gentleman? So sometimes the elder brother or some uh, other persons actually of say that oh i am that i am that mr k actually he was mr m but he say i am mr k okay so i pretend to be someone else i pretend to be someone else so in the uh, cyber security why we do this why we do this spoofing issues there is a issue called man in the middle attack i'll not go details of this attack now because it will actually confuse you just to know these things, that the attack technique is such that, for example, I want to, uh, uh, okay, consider this is our server. This is the hacker. This is the victim. Okay, this is our victim. So what I'll do, the network industry, how this system works, like victim communicates with the server. It may be www.google, something like that. Okay. So he asked this server, okay, Mr. Google, give me some information I want to have. So Mr. Google looks. Who is asking? Yes, what is your name? My name is Victim. Okay. Victim, what is your code? IP address? He say my IP address is 182.168 or something. Okay. So this is my IP address. The uh, IP address of Mr. Victim. Okay. Now what I'll do as a hacker, I want to have the information that Mr. Victim have. So, Hacker will say, listen, Mr. Google, give me the information. I am the victim. I am the victim. And see, this is my IP address, 182.168. This is my IP address. It's not his IP address. It's my IP address. So, the Google will actually, instead of sending information to him, he will send the information to Mr. Hacker. Okay? So, I am just Faking myself, I am faking myself to be someone else is actually the job of spoofing. Did you understand this concept? Any confusion, so I'll, Mr. Ma I will, I will pretend like a uh, victim, but actually I am a hacker. I am yes, I am the hacker, like this. I I I I just I just uh, dressed like somebody else. I dressed like somebody else, but actually I am not that gentleman. Okay. I am not that guy. That's the issue. Just imposter. We say the imposter is the same thing. Spoofing actually just making someone's ID as my own. So doing that, what happens? The All the information that was intended, all the information that those are intended for Mr. Victim will actually go to me. So I can really see what is that Mr. V uh, victim is actually doing this thing. So this is a, uh, a, a, a deliberate session in the manner of the middle attack. I'll teach you if the time permits. And if you understand these things, this is not, this is not that much necessary, not that much big issues, just to know these things. These things 
uh, in our paint testing industry, we actually uh, bypass this thing because for that reason, the man in the middle attack is pretty offensive in nature. And for our job nature, we don't actually suggest those offensive nature much. We have a knowledge on this, but we don't go in details of it because cybersecurity is a big industry. You can't really finish the course within a year. Okay, if I want to teach you all those things, it's not possible also, and it is also not required for your job. Okay, just to know this thing. So, to spoofing is actually to imitate somebody else. Like, uh, uh, I say, like, uh, there are some guys in the female voice. Yes, who are you? I am, I am Alima. If I say, I'm sorry, Madam Alima, don't get offended. Just, I'm just trying to mimic something. So, if I give a female voice, so, oh my God, there is a female there. Did you understand, Madam Alima? Yes, Madam? yes. Did you uh, did you get offended? I'm extremely sorry. Just I just want to. Show no, don't you worry about it. You're you're explaining. We understand. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's the that's the issue. So the spoofing is actually that thing. Just I am I just I am a female, and I am just mimicking with a lady. Yes, where are you? Yes, I am a lady. So. Telling that, I'm just trying to divert my audience. Okay? So, spoofing is actually that thing. So, there are a lot of industries. SQLI, VSploit, VOIP, Voice over Internet Protocol. So, th these are the things you can actually hack with this system. So, let's see what is inside our spoofing directory. So, to go inside this spoofing directory, what I'll be doing, Mr. Yasin, how to get inside the spoofing directory? CD spoof. Exactly. CD spoof. And to see inside what is that inside the spoof directory? LS. Okay, LS. See, in the spoof directory, I have R. ARP resolution, Cisco, domain name server, LLMR, MGNS, NBS, replay, a lot of things. ARP thing is that I'll teach you. Uh, just the, the in this example, I just taught you some issues of ARP poisoning. Okay. This is a deliberate issues. I'll discuss later because if I uh, discuss it now, you'll actually divert your co concentration from the main topics. Okay. ARP poisoning actually use in the Cisco router and the uh, switching system. You have a router and you have a switch. Those things can be hacked through ARP. How? We'll explain later. So these are the targets I can really check. So you see that auxiliary module, it has took us to that extent. No, so now I want to go back one step and see other step also, what is there also. So I uh, to, uh, told you that it has also sniffers, okay? So what is there in the sniffer module? So let's see, let's check the what is inside sniffer. So CD, sniffer, press enter, press LS. See, it has only one system, psnuffle.rb, only one system, okay? So when I started my server security career, Many, many of the modules were like this, one or two modules. But now you see, I see there are a lot of new, newly populated modules. In your cases also, you'll be also observing the same like mine. So we have observed what is inside this auxiliary modules. Okay. And you also learn what is spoofing and other things. So now we are left with how many things? Okay, what we uh, what we'll see now? Tell post. Let's go to post module. We have not observed what is inside the post modules. Again, CD auxiliary. Now modules. Okay, now. Oh, oh. One, too much deals. LS. So 
we have observed auxiliary, we have observed exploits. Let's see what is inside CD mode, uh, the post. So I'm typing CD post and LS. See, the post module have also a large amount of vulnerabilities. So it is for also with solar is windows. See, here is also windows. But this windows is actually not that windows that we, we want to meet. And you see uh, these uh, issues are a bit different. Let's see. CD, windows, LS. See, in this post module, we have only five or six modules. WLAN is for the uh, wireless, your Wi-Fi router hacking system. Is for recognizing the system, gathering information, escalate privilege, capture skins, a lo lot of things. Okay. So it, it has only these are the uh, these are the informations you can have. But in earlier in the exploit module, we have seen the Windows module, it, and you have seen the uh, list is actually quite high. Did you observe? Could you recollect, Mr. Mamun? Hello. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear. Okay. So, this, these are the things. Just every time you observe this thing, look through each and every module and have a note, have a see what is there inside. So, in the time of crisis, suddenly you have an emergency. Okay, you need to find the exploit of this and that. So if you know this thing that a, that kind of uh, exploit is actually inside that directory, I can really hack my system. So now I am going back to the uh, modules. So to go back to the so, module, madam. Yeah, yes, please tell, tell madam. So uh, no, far. So this this all the tools or this all the are buyers. It will help us to find out the what is the problem. Yes, these all are tools. These all are tools. These all are tools. These all are viruses. There are a lot of things. Okay. So we should so, know the uh, what is the use for which uh, yes, machine yes, or which yes, version yes, or everything. Yes, yes, we are actually what we are just doing. We are exploring the things. What, what we what are the things we are we have. What is the thing we so have? We are, so you're showing us the as a familiar to familiar all of these uh, yes. tools. Yes, yes, gentlemen. Because uh, it okay, is not guys. possible. It is not possible for any hacker, any university, any any college or union. Nobody can actually teach you all the hacking system. I cannot really show you all these things. It will take four to five years if I start hacking all the systems. Four to five years. So if we, uh, one one just question. So if you, just you know that just you know that you have these things, just you know you have these things in your computer, in your uh, hacking machine, these Kali Linux. You have these things. You have all these tools, and it is located in which location? Okay, that's thing. Okay. Okay. So if we uh, forget it the, in our actual uh, job by the after maybe two three years, so we needed this. How we uh, recall those things? Can you tell us? Yeah, in the uh, if I understood your question properly, that uh, you want to know in your professional job, uh, will 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 you be asked about it is in which location like this? Is it is it, was it your question like this? Yeah, my question is uh, after maybe uh, in in actual job, uh, so if needed or any pop up any problem in the system, so we need the this those kind of tools. So we forget how do we recall it. Okay. How do we get it again and from the... So, so, yes, yes. Uh, so in, in your professional life, in your professional life, if you need to have How do you some... remember the comments, the comments you are giving? So how do you yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Comments? I want to know that. Yeah. I want to know the uh, comments will help us to uh, figure out the, the, this problem. Okay. So I understand. For, for To do that, I am t teaching you first the what other th system is there. After just Just after this lecture, I'll just show you practically how I'll be using these tools. Okay. So 
uh, don't you want me to explore other tools or I'll just go to the exploit directly? No, no, no you can go your way, no problem. I just want to know that uh, yes. if you are needed so, in future, how do I recall it, these things? Yes, yes, yes. How, how you use it in your future, that I'll show you just after that. I'm just showing you the modules, various modules. Sure. Okay. Sir, uh, sir, thing is, um, the question is like, do we have to memorize these comments? No, no, no. no. By, by... no way. There is no question of memorizing, even in the computer science. Nowhere. You need okay. not to memorize anything. You need not to so memorize. That, that is the question that uh, if we have to memorize, some sometimes we need a comment to find this exploit, right? No, so no, how do no, you no, how do we no. get it? That what, what is that? Let, let me clarify. Let let me clarify one thing. I will have a very separate two sessions for you, a detailed session in the interview. Most professional interview I have collected and I have made 100 questions, more or less in, I, in my seven years of interview experience. I have observed these are the most common questions asked. More or less these are the questions asked for the cybersecurity experts. And I can tell you and I'll show it to you. I'll practice you with those questions and answer session. You'll find no technical question like this. Okay, how? Okay, Mr. Uh, Farid. Okay, Mr. Farooq. How will you find the recognized tool? How you can gather the escalation? No, they will not ask you like this. They will ask you a real-time situation. For example, Mr. Farooq, uh, consider that uh, our system is actually not responding well and from our information in the newspaper that our new launch of new products that we are going to launch a new product that has been published in the newspaper, in the dark side, how it happened. So our informations are leaking. So in this scenario, how you will deal the situation? What will be your steps? They will know the method methodologies. Okay. Yeah, they will know so the methodology. Have, but they will not ask change the system. Okay, what will be the command CD. This, that, no, that will not be asked by them. Hello, okay, Mr. Mr. Farouk, could I uh, satisfy you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand now. I understand now. Okay. okay. I got They'll it. never ask. Okay. Now, what is the common for scanning? Tell me. No, they will not ask you. They will ask you a generalized question. Like, uh, suddenly my web server is actually, my, my email is actually not responding. It is showing me some uh, very obnoxious pictures, okay? So please tell me how I can solve it. So you'll say, uh, sir, I'll do the scanning. After this uh, scanning, I found that there is some malicious code injected inside your computer. So I'll use this Metasploit framework and I'll remove that malicious code from your system through sandboxing, like this, generalized answer. Doing that, that will understand. That, okay, he knows the procedures. Listen, we always use internet. We always, in the even the SOC, even in the uh, very high security facility, we have access to internet. We can check for our commands because this is not humanly possible to remember each and everything. It is not possible. The interviewers also understand this thing. Okay, so, but they wants to know that you know the procedures or not. You have a bucket of uh, what should i say you have a food bucket you have a tiffin box but you don't know what is inside your tiffin you know lunch box uh, what is, what is the food inside uh, uh, do you have snacks do you have rice do you have other things what is there you don't know yourself so this is actually to know yourself okay any confusions so far no oh, clear okay any more confusions? Madam Alima, do you have any confusions? Are you clear what I try to mean? Okay. So, rest of the modules, I leave it on you. And uh, for your kind, kind information, the class I take, I always provide a PowerPoint slice beforehand in the directory. Do you observe it before coming to the class or do you have it? Yes. So, uh, just to show you once more, whether you miss it or not, or are you actually following it or not, just to show you once again. So you see, 
in the class side. In today's class, I have exploited it on 26th. You see? So I do it beforehand so that you have these slides with you. So you can have a very shallow study so that in the uh, ex uh, in the class session, if you have any difficulties to understand, if you want to know something, you can ask me. Okay. This is for your previous preparation, just for your knowing six. And you'll be observing that I have actually catered all those things. I have actually catered all those things in these slides. Okay. So just to uh, orient you with the situations. Okay. So like this, uh, so we have now exploited the post modules. So if you want to go, if you want to go to previous modules, like again, I want to go to the modules. So we have seen the post modules and we can also see the knobs. We can see the encoders, the others, but I will not go. Okay, it is, I leave it on you. You see it by yourself. You know how to see the rest of the things. The knobs is a very interesting thing. You don't need to worry about this thing. The, it, no, knobs means, Mr. Mukhtavis, do you know what is knobs? Uh, no, I, I've just heard them right now. Okay. Knobs is, uh, knobs stands for no operations. So, this is a very widely used system in developing viruses. So I have developed a developed number of viruses. So what happened when you develop viruses, your system actually attacks it. Your system actually recognizes it that you are virus. So to fake my system that no, I am not a virus. I am just a old guy. Okay. So NOF system is like that. It's just like it's shows the computer system, the antivirus that, oh, I am a very weak person, no ops, no operation. I cannot do anything. Oh my God, I'm a feeble guy. Okay. So, but in reality, he's a very vicious person. So NOPS actually hides the intention of these codes. Okay. Same for the encoders. When you develop viruses, we need these encoders to actually hide our intention. To hide our intention, we use encoders. Okay. So to give an example of these encoders, like um, how to give you in, in a more simple way that, for example, uh, have you heard the story of the king and the astrologer? Have you heard the story of king and astrologer? Astrology is the who predicts the future. So let me narrate this story for you once again. I believe you, all of you have heard this story that one day one king wants to know his future. Okay, astrology, tell me what is my future. So the astrologer told that, my dear king, you have a very bad future. You see, your son will die in front of your own eyes. Your mother. Your father, you all are beat to death. So the king was very ferocious. And he was very angry. And he just told him, okay, hang to death. So another, he called another astrologer. Okay, tell me, what is my future? So the astrologer knows the story of previous astrologer. So he said that, my dear king, you have a very bright future. You will live long and you will die at the end of everybody. So you see, both these statements, did you understand this uh, story? Mr. Hafiz, did you understand what I tried to mean? Yes. So, they said the same thing, but different way. In a different way. So encoders are actually the same thing. Like I created a virus. Like just to uh, show you in the uh, topic of the IT, okay? So I created virus. So my antivirus, AV, remember this thing, AV. Very frequently, get used to this code words. AV for antivirus, EDR, EDR. Okay. So EDR means endpoint response. So get used to these things. AV, when I say AV, means antivirus. 
when i say ids means intrusion detection system so in your interview session you will be asked like this so you are, what is the idea you use what is the ids you use like this okay so get used to this words so what i am saying so i developed a virus and the antivirus actually will find oh your antivirus yo your virus no 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 you cannot get inside my office sorry you go away okay now i am saying no no antivirus believe me i am actually with you if is there any anybody wants to get inside the office i'll send my most strong a, a former uh, veteran military veteran we, to your office to protect your office oh that means you are a good guy you want to actually help me right yes okay so when he says okay i am in problem please send me your guard so i sent a killer and it actually kills everybody so actually i am doing the job of virus but i am telling no 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 i am actually your helper i am to help you man trust me i am to help you whenever you need me please ask me i'll send my best possible men to help you out so what happened when you are in dilemma you asked okay what is, please send me your men so i sent the bad person and i told you since i am to, i want to help you so please allow me a office inside your home so that in the time of your crisis i can really help you so these are the beautiful stories these are the beautiful sugar coated stories told by the encoders okay encoders actually tell us these beautiful stories oh no 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 please i am a very weak person don't consider me a virus no 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 you don't do that i am a very small guy okay but when you allow him you crush everything okay so encoders also fix the intention of the softwares and what knobs do knobs do the more same thing same thing but this time knobs actually pretends to be i am just inactive i am just a 80 years old guy i cannot really take my own food i cannot go for my uh, shitting or other other things at my own okay please just leave me alone okay so these two modules encoders and knobs these are very much used in the virus industry so when you will be doing the virus malware analysis part you will be using these issues very frequently obviously i'll show you in this module also some of the some bit of it i'll teach you very uh, in a very simple way with some simple codes how to make automatic viruses with kali linux you can actually make automatic viruses okay without knowing any any bit of coding that's possible so are you now clear about all the modules any confusions so far any confusions tell me any okay so i consider that you have understood each and everything now let me teach you another part of the another part of the story that is uh, we call it uh, the metas uh, metasploit uh, msf console let me clear this screens for you and the assignment for you uh, is that you observe the rest of the things like i have shown you auxiliary uh, i have shown you exploits i have shown you the post modules so you observe the payloads you observe the uh, encoders you observe the evasion modules you see and give a ls and have a just screenshot of it screenshot of it so you check what is there inside okay and send it in the next class understood understood the assignment yes can you do that 
and difficulties. Yes. Okay, inshallah. So now I'm clearing this screen and teaching you a new module. Okay, to exit. Let me open one more terminal for you. That will ease my job. <clears throat> so now back to our own business. Now we have learned the Metasploit framework and we know the Metasploit framework has almost every module, every module to support you in your presentation testing industry. Okay. Now, how to execute it? You know, you have... Uh, Tools you have an uh, just uh, uh, what is it? Madam Tasha? Do you have vehicles? Do you have a car, private car of your own? Can you dive? Uh, yes, okay. So, in your car toolbox, in the back seat, there's a toolbox. You see, there's a jock, okay. This jock is actually here, there to assist you to lift your vehicles, okay. You have some screwdrivers, okay? So you have some uh, screwdrivers. I'm very poor in drawing, please pardon me. So just consider this is a screwdriver, okay? So with that screwdriver, you can actually do a lot of, you can tighten screw and this thing can be also used as one of your Weapon, can you use screwdriver for your protection? A no weapon, is it possible? It's a very sharp and very strong thing, right? You can also use it for your protection or attacking also, right? Same screwdriver, you can use it to fix your tools, to tighten your tools, and also you can use it as a uh, protective measures. Like in Bangladesh, if you remember, People use hockey stick. So hockey stick is, is actually used for playing. But some gentlemen can actually use it for some creating violence. Have you observed? Do you visit your country? Yes. So that hockey stick, that simple hockey stick is actually used for playing hockey. Now we use it for some different purpose. So the same thing you know you have a hockey stick okay and you don't know how to use it that's very unfortunate so that is the thing that you know your limitation you know your capabilities that is very important in this industry of cyber security so now you know your capabilities so far in the metasploit framework i taught you what are the things you can actually have metasploit framework Meta Squared Framework is actually your capability, your strength. Capabilities. Okay, it is your strength. And MSF Console is actually the execution part. How you can use this Meta Squared Framework to do your job. Let me show you in practical. So, in the MSF console, what we just do, we just, you type MSF console, that's it. It will take some time to load. Let us wait for that. And in the another console, we do our previous job like scanning the target like we have our metasploitable framework okay so i'm getting inside msf msf admin msf admin if con big so today my ip address 192 168 dot on 40 dot 89 this is my ip address so i want to scan this ip address with the version 
So, Mr. Mamun, what will be the command to for version checking? Version checking of this system. Tell me. Um, so, SV in map, then in map is dash dash um, is um, the IP address. No, S capital SB, SB, sorry, SB capital B, then IP address. IP is one eight two dot one sixty eight dot. What is the IP address? One forty dot eighty nine. One forty dot eighty nine. One forty dot eighty nine. Eighty nine. Okay. So I give a virtual scanning. Uh, is really up, but a blocking you being probes, try PN machines. Okay, let's see. PN one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one forty dot eighty nine. It is not reachable. What a private screen. Google.com. It has internet connectivity. So, what is actually blocking me? Let me see. Also, IF config see my IP address one eighty two one sixty eight zero dot one thirty seven being one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one thirty seven dot one thirty seven So there is no connectivity with this system. Okay. Let me open it once again. So are you following my steps? What I'm actually doing? These things also happens very frequently. Okay. These things happens very frequently. So, so if there is a, a connectivity issues like that, you check whether these things are actually okay or not. Like I check the bridge adapter, the my ethernet cables, those are actually properly in places or not, okay? And I start close and start the system. And what I did, I checked the internal connectivity just with the ping probes. With the ping probes, I see the IP address of my Kali Linux. So I can access my target to the Kali Linux or not and, and the same vice versa. Okay, so it is also troubleshooting lessons for you learn. And this is the sad part of our virtual machines. It always crashes like that. Nothing doing. Okay. Get is to used to it, but in your professional life, you rarely face this sorts of problem. Okay. So let it wait for that time and we check our MSF console. So you see, this is the MSF console. This is the actually execution part. Now we have, so far we know the bank, like we have no, what this is our bank. This is the US federal bank. We have these millions of dollars with that dollars. What you can actually do, that doing job is actually done by the MSF console. And this is actually a banner, okay? Every time you log in into the MSF console, this banner will change. It changes every time, okay? So now it is showing me the picture of a duck. Sometimes it will show me the lock signature and a lot of things. So you see, 
in the Metasploit framework, uh, this Metasploit uh, console. You see, 2,440 exploits, 12,256 auxiliary modules, 429 post modules, 1,471 payloads, 47 encoders, 11 knobs, 9 evasions. In total, you have. So you see, in the Metasploit framework, what are, what are the things you have? In a nutshell, it is actually showing the, those things to you. Remember, you have total 8 modules, exploit, auxiliary, post, payloads, encoders, knobs, evasion. Could you remember this, those issues, madam? Hello, madam Alima, could you remember? Yes. So those things are actually here also. The same thing, Metas uh, MSF console and Metasploit frameworks are the same thing. They, say, they share the same source of resources. The Metasploit framework is actually nothing, just your bank. It, it is your bank. And the Metasploit console, MSF console is actually the hacking machine that will assist me to hack. Okay. Now let me go to this system. MSF at mean once again. MSF at mean. Okay. One one. Let's see. Let me check whether the connectivity is okay or not. Ping 192.168.89.140 probably. 140 is 160, 192.160.140.89. 192.168.140.89. Okay. 140.89. Okay. So, okay. Let's see. Shit. This is how things happen. Hmm, that's where is the problem? Let's see. I need to shut down the Kali. Or ping myself. Let's see. So this is my address. It is not working. So I have on fake so check my ip 192.68 let me see i can ping myself or not just let's show okay my server is okay it's not so i need to do let's see check this one 192.6.37 192.166.68.0.137 the IP address of my Kali Linux. It's not working. Let us close the entire thing. Sorry for this interruption, okay? I'm just restarting my system once again. So do you face this source of problem? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So it, it will happen. Don't get just frustrated. 
though it's very fast hitting issues because it is actually killing a lot of our times, right? But nothing doing. There's the cars of virtual machines. It always happens so. And since my system is actually bogged down with a lot of issues, so it actually takes time. One advice for you, please practice it. Whatever I teach you in the class, I'm, uh, I'm telling you, I'm teaching you the bare minimum issues. Okay. Those are actually very much uh, pertinent to your job perspective. Remember this thing. I'm not teaching you something extra. People also teach wireless security, Android security, a lot of things. But trust me, those are not that much necessary. Those, those are not that much important in your real life. Okay. To secure a job of security analyst, if you know what I am teaching you, it's good, more than good enough. Okay. And the interview process, procedure, I'll teach you in details. Okay. Don't get jittered. Don't have the uh, imposter syndrome. Oh my God, I don't know anything. Trust me, most professionals, people also face a similar source of problem. Most professional people, they are in the industry for more, more than 10 to 20, 30 years. Still, we face problem because this is the industry. Every now and then, it is changing. Every now and then, every month, new sorts of virus threats are actually evolving. And it's very difficult to cope up with all those things if you don't study, if you are not in the practice. Okay? It is very, very difficult. It is very difficult. I tell you this much. So it is giving a check. Let's see. Hopefully my problem will be solved this time. I'm sorry for this interruption, right? google.com okay in 192 giving the ip address of my kali 192.168.0.137 is it Like that fire all stopping in terminals. I installed a firewall last night. Maybe that is the issue. Sudo UFW and uh, for Yes, double change start. Google service FRG to start. FRG to start. 
Ok, merci. In one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one forty dot eighty nine. So the problem was with the firewalls. Okay. So do you want to know what I did, actually did? What What was the wrong? Hello, anybody there? Yes. Okay. Yes, I want to know. Yes. Uh, so what happened? Last night, I, I, I was actually practicing with a firewall configuration. Okay. This UFW is actually a firewall of Kali Linux. Okay. So this actually blocks all the incoming and outgoing uh, the transmission. So since I was, uh, you, I utilized this thing. So I, I also installed these things. EFW, you have to install this thing. So uh, that's why uh, it was not allowing me all those things. So now I have enabled it. See, I have enabled the firewall connection. You don't need to bother this thing because uh, you have not installed EFW, but in some part, part of your training, you'll be installing UFW firewall. Why? Because uh, to transfer file between Kali Linux and your Windows, you need to use your firewall because Kali Linux will not allow you to transfer any files from one uh, Kali Linux to Windows. Have you tried that you copy any files from uh, Kali Linux? You can, can you paste it inside your Windows or Mac anywhere? Is it possible? Have you seen? Try. Yes, I have. Okay, yes. you try that you will not be able to do this thing. Okay, so actually the problem was with my firewall. I'm, I'm sorry for the interruption. It took a lot of your time. I am too much sorry for that. Okay. Now, let me open my terminal. Let me go back to my own business. So I'm creating two terminals. One for actually conducting my scanning and one for hacking these machines. So once again, nmap dash sv, oh, sorry, sorry, sv192, what is the IP address of my Kali Linux, Mr. Farooq? 192.168.140.89. Uh, 140.89, thank you. So I am giving a version scan in one 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 console, and I opening another console. Here I am opening MSF console. MSF console. See the banners will be also changed this time. Earlier time you have seen a duck picture of duck. It will be changing. Okay, so don't get scared. Okay, what is actually going on? It and it takes some time. To loads you see there are a lot of viruses exploits a lot of things are there inside the msf console okay so wait for that so my version scan is actually finished now basing on this information i will actually hack various uh, targeted okay so did i show you how to hack the vsftp server Did I show you how to hack this system, FTP server, this one? Hello? I don't think so. Okay. So actually the problem is that uh, I teach a uh, lot of batches. So sometimes I actually amalgamate with the batches so that uh, I, I remain confused that whether I could, uh, I taught you to this batch or not. I beg apology for that. So what I did, I did a version scan. So this is scanning, deep scanning. So from the deep scanning, I found some vulnerabilities. Like I know the version number of a system. The port is actually open and the service is FTP. So now I'll search the MSF console. Is there any virus for hacking the system or not? Okay. In the earlier, I taught you in the internet. You just go to the internet, search it. 
yet how to look for this exploit. But those internet exploits are not good because if you use that, is, there is a good chances because these are actually developed by the hackers. So they might put a virus inside it and unintentionally you are inviting trouble inside your own computer. So it is better you don't use this. Okay. But however, I am teaching you the way also. This is also a, a du duplicate way how to ease up your job. But it is not recommended, obviously. So I am searching VSFTPD 2.34 exploit GitHub. I taught you in the earlier classes. You observe. So I just click the first link. See, there are lot, thousands of exploits are there in the market. Could you recollect? I taught I taught you in the vulnerability analysis class. Could you recollect? Yes. 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 So what is there? This is actually GitHub. This is actually Mr. Ari Arivas. He's a hacker. So he developed an exploit for this. Okay. So how to use this thing? Okay. So he gave a detailed instruction of it. How to install these uh, things and what, what can be done. So this is not that much good. Let's see others. So they'll provide you detailed explanation. Okay. They'll give you a detailed explanation. How to install it in your Kali Linux. How to do this and that. And it will install inside your Kali Linux. And then you can hack the system. But in reality, your Kali Linux is much smarter than this. It has lot of, it has lot of uh, tools inbuilt inside your computer. So you need not to actually look for all this. You see, this is the installation instruction. How to install this thing. So you type git clone and copy this address. Okay. After that, you type cd. Can you see this my skin? See, then you go to v cd vsftb. Then you go to the exploit file and ch change mode plus x exploit dot python. So if you just follow these three commands in the Kali Linux uh, console, you'll in install this system and you'll exploit the machine, right? But this is the way of using internet. Like I'm not, in case I'm not getting the uh, exploit for uh, in my own arsenal, or, or should I say in my own bunker, on, in my own bank, like I'm, uh, like this is a bank, right? So in the bank, in the Bangladesh bank, we consider this is Bangladesh bank. So in Bangladesh bank, we have Taka or BDT, what do you say? But we don't have USD, dollars, right? We don't have Euro. We don't have Euros. Okay? So to get the USD, I need to communicate with US bank. US bank. And ask for the dollars. Okay, yes, please send me dollars. I need to buy your things. Okay? So like this. Did you understood this concept? I believe it is a very uh, simple terms you should understand. Did you understand that in your in your bank, you are a, you are a banker. Like you are in Bangladesh bank. So you have Taka, but you don't have dollars. So to get the dollars, what, what you will do? You will ask the US bank, please send me dollars. Right? Is it understood? Yes. Prima, did you understand this thing? Yes. Okay. So the similar thing. So I have Taka. So I'll why I will ask US Bank, okay, send me Taka. Because I'm Bangladesh Bank, I have Taka. So that is my main currency. The same thing is actually happening in your Metasploit console. Okay, let me go here. So you see, now the banner is actually changed. 
meter squared earlier it was dark now it is so uh, the point is that every time it changes so you don't get uh, scared of this oh my god i have opened something else no the same thing is that you see the you have 2000 exploits how many version all these things now in the meta exploit framework i'll search that whether i have those vulnerabilities or not so i type vs f t p d just this okay and also sorry 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 i have to type search s e a r c h search vs f t p d can you see my screen so so i am looking for this thing the vulnerability in my own bank let's see i have that exploit or not i'm giving a search see in my bank there is a virus that can actually hack the system vs ftpd 2.3.4 check vs ftpd 2.3.4 so i have a virus that can actually hack the system so should i need to go to internet and search for this virus tell me Did you understand the concept? So Mr. why Mamu? you go to the uh, internet? So you prefer only for knowing the information? Uh, we go to internet because, for example, it is there 12.13.15. Some information that is not available here. You are not getting it inside your Kali Linux. Then you have to go to the uh, third party softwares, like your internet, you see? Now, in the third party internet, I am going for this 2.3.4. But had it been a different exploit, it is not available here. Then I need to search in internet for that those exploits. Okay, I need to search. And also I need to validate that this, that exploit actually works. I have to hack the system physically. I need to ensure that this exploit works. Most of the, you see, uh, how many search it has found out? How many search? It is, I believe it is a numerous one. So it is a numerous, see? Numerous exploit are there. Not all the uh, exploits are actually true. Not all are actually true. Some of are very much fake, just to misguide you. Okay? So, you need to justify that this exploit really works or not okay you need to justify this thing that whether this exploit really working or not okay did you we understand that this what i really yeah, want to I understand. So, yeah so, i understand so we don't use the internet code but we just want to know the um, uh, way for, for example you know, yeah, just, uh, just what i said just the, during my search i i here is 2.34 maybe it is 20 point 30.40, something like that. But in my search, uh, in my uh, the uh, Metasploit console, that I, I have just looked for the search, search VSFTBD, and I find that it is 232, 234. These two exploits are available for me, no other else. So if that is in that case, I have to go to internet and I search VSFTBD 2030, 20.30.40. Something like that. Okay. And I give a search. See the, whether any exploit for that or not. Okay. Like that. So actually it is a fictitious issue. There is no something like that. That's why it didn't come up. But in reality, if, if that version is vulnerable, you'll see a lot of vulnerability exploits like this. The previous way you have seen. VSFTV 2.0 CC. There are a lot of communication servers. A lot of exploit database. Remember this website, Exploit Database. It is a very, it is a Bible for the hackers. Okay. It shows a lot of authentic uh, exploit. And the actually these Kali machine and others share information from this service. So you see. And it's the most one of the most trusted exploit database. It have the it is a, just like a bank. It has all the information of all hacking materials. Okay. So it, it will tell you when it was, when it is hacked, how it was 
the shell is open like this and you can download the database also. Lot of things. So remember this website. It's a very useful one. Every presentation tester must know this database. It's one of the very renowned database. So you can, if you can search here, you can also find a lot of information from this. Okay. It will also give you the database of a lot of exploit and any other things. So what happens when you scan your system? You can also scan your own target, your own machine, and you find the versions and a lot of information. You check that whether any vulnerabilities are there inside by using the MSF console. Okay. Metasploit console. Actually, you see, you search the keywords and it will show you the vulnerabilities. So far understood, Mr. Farooq Khan and Mr. Mamun. Did you understand this thing? What I tried to mean? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Mr. Mamun, did you understand? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do, see, I have observed that there is a virus that can actually hack my VSFTP server. So I marked it. And see the version. It is 232 and it is 234. So for my virus, it is actually 234. So I will be using 234. So 234. This is this one is valid for me. This is VSFTPD, this FTP, and this is Unix base. So let me check. This is also VSFTPD services FTP service. And this I know the system is actually Linux based. So all my conditions are actually met and you see the ranking it is excellent so the probability is better that it will hack my target okay but i need to check i need to check that whether it can really hack my system or not and you say what is the issues they said interact with the module by name or index for example info or something and it send a backdoor like it sends a virus itself and crash the system. Let me see whether it actually works or not. So to use this system, first of all, what we did, we search and match the system that whether my system matches my requirement or not. So I checked my thing is okay. Uh, and I want to use this virus. So I copy it. Right mouse click, copy. Now to use this, very simple command. What you will do is U S E use and the name of the virus that I want to use. So I type use and the name of the virus, just copy and paste it. And I'll paste enter. So it is saying no payload configured. So this is a generic payload. You need to configure it. Okay. This is a virus, it's okay, but it don't know. What is it, the target? Which one to target? Okay. So, like your postman, I am sending a postman to your home, uh, Madam Tasha's home. I want to send a postman uh, to send some letters, but it doesn't know what is the address of Madam Tasha. Okay. So, to do that, I am actually configured. I need to tell the postman. So, this postman, I am trying to tell him. That what is the address? So to do that, I am what I am doing. Show info. Now the show info command it is showing me the basic operations. You see the thing that okay, it's a backdoor command execution virus. Okay, fine. Unix system. Okay, Metasploit framework licensed. Okay. Now what do you do? See required. Check the requirement. Requirement yes. You have to give it. No, no shortcut. And what is it? Our, our host. Remote host. What is the address of the target? What is the address of the target? So the address is actually the address of my metasploitable system. So what I need to do, type set and type the exact way what it is. Our host. All are capital. Remember this thing. So I type the same thing. R H O S T S remote host and the IP address. So what is the IP address of my metasploitable 192.168? Madam Tasha, what is the IP address of my uh, 
metasploitable dot one forty dot eighty nine dot one forty dot eighty nine press enter now the information is set so you see earlier it was blank now again I type show info and see see the address is now set now my postman know what is the address of my target okay so I am actually good to go okay so there will be a lot of exploit like this you, this the, the process is actually same the process is actually the same what you need to do every time you check the system check the parameters tally the system everything and after that when you are set you are satisfied you have given all the parameters everything you just need to try exploit exploit okay hack the system go it is hacking so you send a banner you see this is all the thing you found a shell and my system has been actually hacked so how i am sure okay let me type who am i root present working directory or i say get uid okay it is actually for the uh, met uh, metapeter shell i'm sorry if config it will work see it is now showing me the ip address so is it same for my metasploitable madam tasha yes so i actually hacked the metasploitable framework the machine okay see the same ip address Big. Okay. T I F con big. See the same IP address I'm exactly using. So I actually successfully hacked the system, the FTP server. So did you understand the methodology? What what I did? Any confusions? Yeah, this is the little bit uh, before uh, execution, before uh, the execution part. I don't understand this. So you uh, everything you set up, then you can exit. Then you, after uh, you will see that it is a hack. So how I understand is also a hack. If it the, shows the okay. my metasploitable. Okay. I understood the question, Mr. Faru. Okay. So how I understood the system is actually hacked. First indication is that, you see, found shell. I got the shell and he read common shell session one open. So and I found a shell and shell is open. Okay, very good point. Let me teach you one very important issues that I forgot to teach you. In hacking industry, there are actually three types of shell. Shell, three types of shell. Number one, it is bind shell. Number two, reverse shell. And number three, it is meterpeter. Meter, peter, shell. Like in our Windows, in our Windows machine, we use a common prompt, like that is also a shell. That is, we call it PowerShell. Do you, do you know that? In Windows, the common prompt we used. Okay? What yeah, is we it? know that. So, that common prompt is actually the PowerShell. So, these uh, Kali Linux, these are actually, we call terminals. But also, these are actually shell. So, if I can grab these environment, we, we call it, we found a shell. And... Is this session is opened. Okay. So from this IP address, I could successfully hack this 
system it is actually giving me the indication the main indication is found share and the session is open and thereby i am giving the command who am i i am root okay then i am typing if config what is the ip uh, what is the uh, my ip address so it is telling me my ip address is now 1836489 but is it re really true my ip address kali linux ip address is, is this one or something like this if you could remember my, my IP address of Kali Linux. IF config. See, this is the actual IP address of my Kali Linux. 192.168.140.108. But instead of that, what I see is 89. So don't you think I, I am in a different machine? Mr. Farooq, did you understand now? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So uh, the thing I told you that we have actually three types of shell. Bind shell, reverse shell, and meterpreter shell. So what is bind shell? Should I explain now? Uh, maybe it will overshoot our time. Okay. I keep it uh, for the... Okay, no. no. Let me take you. Do you have time? Uh, do you mind if I take some extra, uh, extra time from your class? Will you mind? No. No, no, no. Okay. No. So, sounds good. So, let me teach you uh, to the uh, slides I provided. Uh, Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, can you listen yeah. to me? Yes, yes. So, I have a question. So, uh, uh, one thing. So, when we use, I mean, when you typed use dash the, I mean, the link, uh, Go back to your terminal, then it will be easier to show you. Uh, one second, please. I need to fix my uh, microphone. Okay, one second, oh. please. Sure. I'm... Yes, please. Uh, one second, please. Yeah, sure, sure. Take your time. Oh, one, 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 Sorry for the interruption, man. No, no, no worries. Okay, Juan. Okay, uh, speak about one second, please. Yeah, can you hear me? No, no, no. One more. Hello. Hello. It's not working. My function is not. Microphone system is not working. I cannot really hear you. Okay. Hello. Can you listen yeah, to me? Yeah, tap the up arrow and uh, oh, let's, hello. Let's, yeah, can you hear me now? Oh, sorry. Okay, yes. Tell me. Tell me what 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 is the question? Okay, so so when you typed a uh, search space, I mean the version, then yeah. you got the modules, right? Right. Uh, with the names and the disclosure and with the rank. So my question is, uh, under the name column. The things we just copied and pasted it, is that the payload we are sending to the target machine? Yes, yes. We are sending payloads. We are sending okay. payloads. Okay. All right. And uh, so so that's the thing uh, we know, like, okay, so we have this version uh, okay. and uh, this version is vulnerable, right? Right. What if we don't know about the version? Yes, if you don't know the version, okay. If you don't know the version, that's why I told you. If you don't find it inside your, uh, if you don't find it inside your Kali Linux, so what you will do, you will search the internet, you search the internet and find the exploits. And uh, I uh, showed you in the uh, uh, thing that in the browser GitHub directory, go follow their instruction, and that hacker will actually tell you how to install the system. Okay. So, so, so for sending a payload and other stuff, so we have to, I mean, uh, rely on the uh, meta exploitable framework, whatever they gave us, we okay. can use it. If it's not there, then we cannot use it. Then we'll go to the website or the, I mean, Google and see like whether these things available yes. or not. Yes. That's some... yes, yes, that's it. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. 
Do you have any issues with that? Listen, uh, like no, no. I mean, my my part is working fine, but I'm just asking just some uh, okay. question. Okay, so there is another tool that is called search exploit. Okay, but actually, why you are not using search exploit? Uh, I think Mr. Mustafa is actually mentioned. Yeah, I, about... I, 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 yes, uh, yes. Take... But this search exploit, uh, why why I don't use search exploit? Yes, you can use the same. Okay, I will show you how to use search exploit. But the issue is that. It is not actually that useful most of the time because uh, the same thing is, is actually being performed by the uh, MSF console. So why I bother wasting my time for this uh, search exploit tools? Just to show uh, uh, the query of Mr. Uh, Mustaviz, maybe uh, search exploit. The same thing, okay? To find the vulnerability VS FT PD. See, this is also a module. This is also a module to find the vulnerability of our system. And you see, it, it actually found out the information. See, backdoor command ed, execution, Unix remote 49757 Python. So if you see mm, our modules, uh, is there, is here. If you see the exploit that is found by MSF console, okay, see, check what is the version number. It's a uh, 2.3.4. 2.3.4, right, also. But you see the same module, the same thing. But here, in such exploit, I can actually know there is a virus in my system that I can really use to hack a system, but I can't really execute it. But with MSF console, I can really search and also I can execute the issues. That's the point. Did you understand? Yeah, I mean, you can do everything in the same framework. You don't so, have to just jump around. Yeah, so remember my, my dear students, there will be a lot of tools in the internet industry. There will be a lot, but trust me, if you just go through this, you will just be derailed because uh, just just to see. I just gave uh, the search of search exploit. OK, it gave me the result. OK, you have a virus, you can use it. That's it. But from here, I cannot do anything. Trust me, from here, I can. Uh, can I use use and this and that? Let's see. Can I use it? OK. Let's see, it will not work. See, it will not work. It's just a search engine. But why Why to waste our time for that issues? Whereas in my MSF console can not only search, but it can also execute the target. That's why I am not teaching you that thing. Now understood, Mr. Mustaviz? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I mean, yeah. That's the, that's the issue. In, in the internet industry, you will find a lot of tools. But I'm telling you, I have taken a few time, only six months. So I'll only teach you those things. Those are necessary. As a professional, I know what is best for you. What is actually the professional hackers actually do with it. Okay. So please have faith on me. Okay. I know the industry and I know how to, how this industry runs. Okay. Just for your knowledge set. That's why I have not taught you about search, search exploit. Yes, search exploit is also there, but what you are not, we are not using it because the meta exploit console actually gives us all in all. So it is better to learn one thing and know it for better. So if you master on this MSF console, you can really hack any issues. And I have taught you that in the beginning, see, I showed you what are the files are there, what is, what is there and there. So, we have just finished one hacking part. So uh, let me finish uh, one more issues uh, that we want to uh, set. That is uh, the uh, bind shell, reverse shell, and TCP uh, and the uh, uh, sorry, the bind shell uh, and the um, reverse shell and the meta peter shell. So for bind shell, okay. So bind shell, what is that? Uh, just let me. Give you an example from these slides. So, can you see?
So this picture is also inside your slides, okay? Just to minimize my time. So what happens in the bind shell methodologies? What do we actually do? We, for example, this is the Mr. Hacker, okay? This is Mr. Hacker. And this is our target machine. So, for example, I call Madam Alima, Madam Natasha, or maybe I call Mr. Mamun. So, Mamun, Mr. Mamun, can you hear me? So, I ask you a question. Okay. So, I give a call. Mr. Mamun, can you hear me? Mr. Mamun said, yes, teacher, I can hear you. So, Mr. Mamun said, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I can hear you. So, thereby, I understand Mr. Mamun is alive and he is well. So, I have to open my ears. Okay. I have to open my ears to listen. What is Mr. I, I say some words. I say something, anything. Hello, hi, hello, something. And I wait to listen for Mr. Mamun. What is actually he's saying? So this is called actually bind injection. Okay. Sorry. This is called reverse. Reverse shell. So why? Uh, to be give you a, a, a more simple issues. Like... Uh, in the uh, Bangladesh industry, not in the U.S. industry, uh, in the, the in the, the you'll be you see some movies like the the our son proposed the daughter of a um, okay. daughter of a very big man, Mr. Choudhury. Okay, so yeah, Mr. Choudhury, the big big-headed man. Mitch okay, guy. so Mr. Choudhury. His name is Mr. Choudhury. Okay. Or in the language of IT, you can call him Mr. Firewall. Okay. Now, this is uh, Shagor, something, a Bengali name. And this is, uh, uh, what, what do you say? Just a given name. Okay. So, what happened? Shagor actually calls. Meena, where are you? Something like that. Okay. And Meena also calls back. Shagor. The same thing is actually going on. So Shagor listens that Meena is actually here and Mr. Choudhury, that dirty Choudhury actually blocked all the access. He actually, Mr. Choudhury locked Meena inside his house. So, thing is that Shagor cannot go inside Mina's house because Mr. Choudhury is there. Mr. Firewall is actually there. But Mina can always go outside. Did you understand this much? This part, clear. Mr. Mustavis, did you understand this part? Yeah, I saw a lot of movies. Like okay, Mr. Palit, did you understand what I tried to mean? Did you see Bengali movies? I believe not. But yeah, try yeah, to recollect the memories. I understand. Okay, try to recollect the memories. I understand. This is very difficult. So, thing is that the incoming datas are welcomed, but outgoing, uh, sorry, outgoing datas are welcomed. But incoming datas are not welcomed. Firewall will check. And it will not let you pass through. But if, like, uh, in more easier terms, like in the Mexican border, for US citizen, it is easy to go to Mexico. But it is difficult for Mexicans to come inside US border. So similar, this, this is the perfect example of reverse bind shell. Okay? So I have taught you about the reverse uh, reverse TCP, the reverse bind shell. Okay, 
The next thing is the, uh, sorry, this is actually the, the example of reverse shell. Now, if I go for the uh, bind shell, the bind shell story is absolutely the opposite. Here, Mr. Shagor will actually come and Mina will be sent. Okay. For reverse shell, firewall will allow incoming, outgoing transport and it will filter incoming, uh, incoming, let me, let me write, incoming, not allowed, outgoing, allowed. This is reverse. So my victim, victim is communicating with me and I'm the hacker. Please understand this concept because you will be asked in your interview session. That's why I'm spending much time on it. Your victim is actually telling you all the information. So you can always have reverse shell. That's why most of the time hackers use reverse shell because this is more the reliable one and firewall actually don't stop it. But bind shell is absolutely the opposite one where the incoming is accepted, outgoing is not accepted. This is a victim, this is the hacker. This is the scenario of bind shell. In reality, bind shell doesn't exist for the firewall. It is okay, it is bind shell is there, but generally firewall don't allow these sorts of issues. Okay, because firewall is, firewall is programmed to stop any incoming, any incoming issues are actually stopped by the firewall. Okay. Any incoming issues are stopped by the firewall. That's why reverse shell works and bind shell doesn't work in practical scenario. But you know, for your interview sake, there is something called bind shell. There is another shell that is called meterpeter shell. This meterpeter shell is a very exclusive one and I'll not show you here. Okay, I'll hack a target and I'll show you in physically. This is basically the actual picture of your system. For example, we have hacked a system. We have hacked a system and you see the, all the targets, what, what we have actually see here is actually in a black, black and white screen, but we cannot really see the this skin, right? Can you see this skin by hacking this system? Yeah? Mr. Mamun, did you understand what I tried to mean? Yes, yes. So we cannot see the graphical portion. We can see what is the text I'm typing here and there, a lot of things. So that is a conclusive shell that is called meta-peter shell. And this is actually in the present world, the present trend of hackers, we actually use this meta-peter shell. We look for meta-peter shell. And if I have the meta-peter shell, I can have all this graphical content. But if I have the reverse TCP shell, I will have these black and white screens. Okay. So today we have learned what is meta-exploitable framework, how to use this framework to hack a system, what is the various shells. So next two classes, I'll not explain any more issues. I'll just hack number of issues, number of targets. And at the end, if I have time, I'll teach you how to make a virus and use it in your own system. So for any question, tell me. Madam Tasha, any question? No. Uh, what about Madam Alima? Uh, no questions. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Khaled, Hafiz, Mamun, Mr. Mustafiz, any question? Anybody? So we conclude the part. 
So assignment for you, please look, look for the modules that I have not shown you, like the post modules, the exploit, uh, the in, uh, uh, evasion module, and a lot of other things that I have not showed you. Okay? Could you recollect what I have not showed you in the uh, Metasploit framework? Just to clarify my assignment, I'm showing you once again. Oh my God. To get outside the meta, meta sprite framework, type exit, okay? Not control C, okay? So I taught you, this did not work, CD slash user slash share slash meta okay meta exploit exploit dash frame work ls cd modules ls Oh, no. So, I taught you auxiliary exploits post. So, I have not shown you the encoders, knobs. Please note down encoders, knobs, and payloads. These three more and, and a version have a go through each of this module, type ls, give a screenshot and post it. Assignment understood? Any confusion about the assignments? One more time so we can we can note it. Yeah. Go to this module, Metasploit framework module that I have taught you. So I have shown you physically the auxiliary, the exploits, the post right but i have not shown you the encoders the version the knobs and the payloads so go to this directory like encoders cd encoders type ls so what are the modules it has have a screenshot of it again go back so we have gone for the encoders. Now let's look for the knobs. Knobs. So CD knobs. LS. See what are there in L, uh, knobs module, sub modules right. like this. Right. Have a screenshot of it and send me. Here yeah, now. Yes, got it. Insert the insert the knobs uh, we should go every element over here like uh, uh alarm it up, it up to you. I, I leave it on you i leave it on you listen okay if you want to be professional if you want to be professional you have to go each and every of it if you, you need to know this thing yeah okay? that's why you I need to know this plan. thing gentlemen there is no shortcut like i'm uh i have shown you the msf console right you see all these modules are shortlisted here actually this 2,440 exploits are there. This, this amount of payloads. So it is better if you know this thing. So it will ease up your job. But it doesn't necessary that you need to know all these things. Because you see, I'm just typing search and typing the keyword and it will find the vulnerabilities for me. But to have a clear idea that what, what best you can do, you can do actually each and everything. You need not to go anywhere else. If you know this Metasploit framework for rest 50, 50 years of your, uh, if you serve in the cybersecurity industry, you need not know other single tools. So that is the reason many people complain about me. Now the teacher actually teaches me very few things, but trust me, you learned few, but you mastered that few. If you master this thing, you can actually excel in the job, but you, you learn a lot of things and actually you, you cannot execute any of it 
Will it give you any fruits? No. You learn a lot of things. But actually, you cannot execute the operation. Can you can it give you any any results? Tell me. No. So that is the thing. You learn one thing. And you learn one good thing. Learn one good thing. That can actually really help you in all aspects. You need not to go for any other second and third issues. Okay, you learn one thing, and trust me, interviewers don't actually bother about how many other tools you really know. You have ideas, that's okay, but you actually work with one tools, and you can you are master on it. That's the most important issue, because as an interviewer, I am actually an owner of a company. As an interviewer, actually I am an owner, so I will actually look for that person to employ. That person actually can do my job, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's so you can verify that I have I have an ability or not. Can I can do that that job? Sorry, sorry, Mr. Farooq, I did not understand. One second, please. No, I say so. He can uh, verify is my ability. Yes, exactly, exactly. But in in the in the interview session, they never ask you to code this thing. They will ask you the procedure, okay? They will ask you, okay, we'll have a detailed interview session. After the after we finish this module, we'll have a very professional interview module for two days, okay? Consecutive two class, I'll take a very, uh, uh, what is it, engaging interview session. And the question that will be asked, be sure of it, 75% or 80% question will come in your interview session. Be sure of it. And it will come. Because there is no shortcut of it. Because there is no actually question out of this. Okay? Thank you. So, let me close this session, right? Mr. Mustaviz, did you feel offended? No, for... No, no, no. It's okay. Please, remember, I told you from the very beginning, you all are my brother. You're just my family. So, don't just think just this gentleman is actually doing all this thing for money. No, I'm not doing this. This is a kind of my public charity. I earn a lot of money. You, just, you cannot just really imagine how much money I earn from this industry. This is just a part of my dream project. I'll teach here. I'll be, maybe the, you, you'll be my last batches. And afterwards, I'll go back to my country, Bangladesh, and I purchase some land there. I'll establish uh, a new university there and I'll develop a cyber security university there. I uh, contact with some of my uh, teachers of my Buet and my some colleagues. They are agreed with me. They will work. We, we will work side by side and I'll establish my in industry there. This is my part of dream. So just to get back to my teaching industry to help others. That's why I launched this program. Believe in me. It's not for the money. And I'm really, I really want your benefit. I want that you really compete. The Bangladesh is the ace in the cybersecurity industry. And it's possible. The thing is, it is very simple. People make it complicated by doing funny YouTube videos. Don't watch unprofessional YouTube videos. It will actually misguide you. It will give you information about a lot of things. And actually, you'll not learn anything. That's the big issue of the cyber security industries. Shortage of mentors. People teach this same thing or more or actually nothing with a lot of more prices. They, they give you a lot of stories, but actually those all are fake stories. And that is the reason people get diverted. Believe me, that is the biggest challenge of the Asian country. People are diverted because they are not well mentored. And that's the issue. Nothing else. Stop watching useless YouTube channels. Follow the guides of the bona fide mentors. Those are the top ace of this industry. Follow them. That will actually help. And follow one tools and master it. If you follow number of, number of tools and you cannot do anything, actually it will not do anything for you. Remember this thing. Okay? See you in the next class. Bye. Thank you.
All right, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye.